sometimes happens that you may get the data from a different program maybe sap or maybe tele or other program it happens that you get the data in a form that everything is concatenated or joined together and if you want to separate them we have some beautiful options available in excel but before that you have to first find out the symmetry in the data the more symmetry you have in the data the more easiest function you can use to separate them if you find less symmetry you can go with much more complex functions and still you can actually separate it let's see the data over here we have product codes now if you look at the data we have some similarity in the data these product codes comprises of two major things on the left hand side we have three alphabets and on the right hand side we have six numbers so if you would want to separate the letters and numbers it would be easy because in total we have three letters in each product codes and that to be on the left hand side and numbers on the right hand side we would definitely discuss the unsymmetrical data in the next video but right now we'll go with this so let's see if you want to take out something from the left of a cell we can use a formula equals to l e f t left so it's very logical guys now it has two major arguments text comma number of characters text is a mandatory argument and that is bold right now it means we are standing on this argument it's an active argument and number of characters are in square bracket it means it's an optional argument so we can technically leave it but what if if we leave it it will take out only the first character from the left hand side of the text that we are going to give here the text is the first product code comma number of characters will be 3 which is k p o so we'll take up three characters so we write it as a number we'll close down the bracket and if i press enter you can see that this is coming as k p o now if i just copy and paste it down like this it will show me all the left side three characters from these cells now in the same manner if we want to take out the numbers the formula will be right because the numbers are on the right hand side of the product codes text will be this one number of characters will be 6 because in total we have 6 characters from right hand side so we'll type in 6 we'll close down the bracket we'll press enter then we'll copy and paste it down till the end and there we go we have all the characters with us now if we would want to take out something from middle in this case out of kpo 232765 we want third to sixth character so out of this we want o 2 3 2 these four characters here we are going to use a formula which is equals to mid that is mid syntax says text comma start number comma number of characters and you can see all the arguments are mandatory so text will be product code comma start number the number from where you want to start it that is k p o that is from the third character that we want to take out so start number will be 3 comma number of characters we want o 2 3 2 so if we count on fingers these are four characters so we'll type in 4 and then we'll close down the bracket and we'll press enter and there we go we have the characters from third to sixth then if i double click over here i can copy and paste it down till the end now if i have letters and numbers that i'm getting from a program and i would want to create a product code again it means i want to join them these two cells so for that we have in total two ways the one is we have a formula that is known as concatenate so that is equals to c o n c 
you can see the complete name which is concatenate which joins several text strings into a one text string so if i press tab i'll open the formula it says text 1 comma text 2 comma text 3 and so on so whatever you need to join in you just click over here comma now d6 which is letters and numbers i'll close down the bracket here and if i press enter you can see the product code is completed in front of me now if i double click on the right bottom corner i can copy and paste it down the other method is i think that concatenate formula is pretty much lengthy and maybe will not remember that there is a substitute of this formula which is equals to letters and then using ampersand key which is and so i'm pressing shift on my keyboard and this seven number key on my keyboard that represents ampersand that and symbol and then the next string that we need to add and now if i press enter it will create a product code for me it seems very easy as compared to concatenate i hope you got the taste of these formulas comfortably thank you